this week we lost a giant in our community. Um, not only in our community, but someone who's been present in my life for the last 30 years or so. Um, he's someone who I think has affected at least three generations of, uh, of, of kids and adults as they grew into adults. Um, and that's Wayne from Blue Notes. I don't know much about his personal life. We never really spoke about that. Uh, but what I do know is uh, he was an incredibly passionate man in general, but especially for what he chose to do as a living. Um, commendable and inspiring. Maybe not in what he did, but how he worked it and how much he loved it. Um, so what I wanted to do this week is I wanted to celebrate Wayne the way that I re want to remember him. Uh, and that's the guy that I would see when I would walk into Bluno. So I'm going to show you season two of the Ask the Experts series that we produced back in 2019 um, that we feature the store. And hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as we enjoyed producing it. And then stay tuned for another one. These are the types of things you find at Blue Nose. Going to a party, bringing my beats. <laughs> Blue Nose. That's where they got the name of the store from. Why? Because it was originally a coin and stamp shop and the place has been open for decades. It's true. Now I have a personal connection with this store because growing up in the West Island in the late 80s and early 90s, I was a hockey card collector and Blue Nose was the place to get the cards and Wayne was the guy <laughs> to buy the cards from. <laughs> So in my head, Blue Nose has been a card collecting and buying store. But that's not the case. That's actually not even how they started. This is Ross. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ross Arnett. The owner of the store. And I'm the owner of Blue Nose Coins and Stamps. Actually, he's the guy who coined the store Blue Nose. Right? <laughs> so Blue Nose is the place that has everything a collector or a kid with nostalgia could possibly want. This is a, an old cigarette case. Go. Yes. Go. <laughs> Unbelievable. My place is a little bit like a museum, but it's all for sale. Are you kidding me? This is the best Metallica album on vinyl. Well, a lot of people come in all the time and they're surprised about the about a variety of products they can buy. Well, I'm especially in coins and stamps. Uh, Reed is baseball cards, and Wayne is more the video games and Pokemon cards. So where does he get all this stuff from? Well, he gets this stuff from you guys. You know, you have that old box of toys sitting at home that maybe you're not too nostalgic about anymore. Bring it into Blue Nose. He'll buy it. It's true. I can't do it. If you collect it, you come to see us at Blue Nose and we'll buy your collection. This was someone's tape collection at one point. Oh. If you want to add to your collection, Blue Nose has all the different parts that you can add to your collection. Whether you're collecting hockey cards, Hot Wheels, Marilyn Monroe memorabilia, Blue Nose has it. I love going to Blue Nose because I'm a nostalgic guy and Blue Nose is filled with a ton of things that I either had when I was a kid or always wanted to have when I was a kid. So whether I'm going to buy it or I'm going to have a conversation with Wayne about it is exactly what I need to distract me from my daily work. <laughs> no, but it's good. It's good to feel young again. There's nothing bad about that. I didn't really do my job if somebody didn't walk through this store and say, wow, that was something I had when I was 10, you know? And it doesn't matter if the person's 28, 38, 48, or 88, there's something in the store that, wow, you know, I had that when I was 10. This next clip is from June of 2020. So we filmed this, I think, about a week or two after everything opened up. And uh, we essentially wanted to see how the merchants were doing in the Point Claire Plaza. Um, and uh, certainly wanted to see how Wayne was doing and uh, what he did to make everyone feel comfortable. And also to get to know him a little bit, a little bit better. So, enjoy. But Blue Nose will always exist. It's, uh, what is it? It's uh, Keith Richards, Cockroach, and Blue Nose. <laughs> <laughs>
One of the things that I find most interesting about your store that maybe some potential clients don't realize is that it's not only someone who's looking for that one vinyl, but it maybe it's someone who's who's got a school play happening and it needs to be set in a particular time period oh, and yeah. they just need to buy a bunch of stuff sure. to, to, to set the, the stage. I had a props manager come in that was doing a movie on NASA. And, uh, and she said to me that her boss said they needs to find reel-to-reel -reel tapes. And she goes, well, did you go to Blue Nose? And he said, what's Blue Nose? And she goes, you don't know of the store Blue Nose? And she said it in a real fancy French accent. <laughs> and, and then she came in and she bought the reel-to-reel -reel tapes for me and they're gonna be in a movie. I have no idea what movie, but. Are they gonna yeah, credit you? I doubt it. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, props managers come to us a lot to uh, get some of the cool old stuff. Stuff that just you can't find anywhere else. Tell me two things. What's what's maybe the one or two things that people might associate with your store? Say, oh, Bunos, they sell this. And maybe something that you probably have a lot of, but people wouldn't suspect. I would say number do. one is uh, coins uh, and stamps. That's how we started with my dad. And uh, the number two thing would probably be Pokemon cards uh, and video games, used video games. So I have everything from Atari to Switch. Yeah, th things that people don't know I have. Um, I guess DVDs come to mind, uh, the records, cameras, old cameras, people can come in and buy old cameras. Um, Good display pieces. Yeah, I just sold a, uh, a, a man cave beer display case uh, for a hundred dollars US uh, to a guy uh, that, that I don't know. Uh, what, he's gonna make it into his man cave thing, yeah. And some guy brought it to me and said, "Would I buy it?" And I said, "Eh." And uh, but it was all in its original packaging and it had never been opened, and so we sold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are always gonna want to know. They will I buy it? Will I buy it? Will I buy it? Oh, he won't buy that. Oh, he won't buy this. A uh, fact of the matter is, if you bring me your entire car full of stuff, I will buy everything that is worth money. And if it's not worth money, you're fully allowed to leave it at my store. I mean, I can't really pay for them, right? But on the other hand, I guarantee they won't go to the garbage. They won't go to landfill. They won't get put into some recycling bin. They will actually go to somebody else who uses them again. My wife is a um, member of the only chimpanzee uh, ape sanctuary in uh, North America, I think in Canada for sure. And uh, these apes read magazines. Don't ask me how they do it, but they do. And, and I have brought 600 magazines in my wife's name to <laughs> apes to read okay and one of the apes they're gonna take over google one of yeah one of the apes actually likes food issues okay so um but, that's so uh, interesting it, it's in Blaine where Bell. is that yeah, it's uh it's on the south shore um, oh it's in quebec it's in quebec yeah it's a, it's a two hour drive for me so um in march you guys had to close down march 14th we closed uh, june 19th we opened uh, during that time, uh, we would do curbside pickup. I would drive stuff to people's houses. Uh, you could still phone me. I would uh, take your credit card over the phone and we continued to do business. Uh, Is this something you're still encouraging or are you discouraging it now? This, uh, this kind no, of no, calling no. up. People and... want me to deliver stuff to their house and they live within a 10 minute drive of the house or want to come and pick it up uh, and have it prepared and ready to go so they can be a limited exposure inside the mall, whatever. Uh, I'm totally prepared for that. Opening June 19th, uh, you couldn't just open the store. You had to have some kind of precautionary stuff. Yeah, we uh, and... definitely uh, we wear our face shields and our masks. Uh, we have uh, hand sanitizer as you walk in. Um, we can't have more than five people in the store at any one time. Uh, we definitely have a, a spot at the cash where uh, people are, you know, able to uh, use their uh, tap, uh, contactless way of paying. We have uh, plexiglass up between the uh, um, customer and ourselves. Uh, that, those were installed two or three weeks before we opened on June 19th, so we were we were ready uh, June 1st for the for the whole COVID thing. Uh, 
I don't think there's anything we were missing. So having a store in a mall for about 50 years means you get to meet a lot of people, a lot of kids and a lot of parents. And there's no doubt in my mind that he's left a lot of lasting impressions on people. So what I would ask is you take these memories that you might have of him and really think about them and, you know, think about why he made you feel welcome and, and why you were excited to go there when you were a kid or when you brought your kids. And maybe those memories will turn into nostalgia. If they turn into nostalgia, then those memories will last forever. And I think that's the best way that we can celebrate Wayne's life and Blue Nose.